most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. In order to do that, you have to practice some life balance because if you don't practice life balance, you forget who you're supposed to be in the world today. What I mean is that there's plenty of people who are focused 100% totally on two areas of life balance. They're focused on their family to a point in terms of the significant other that they chose to be with for the rest of their life. And they're focused on their finances, which is how they make a living, how they earn a wage. And if they're not pleased with the wages that they're earning, well, there is free time around their part-time job that allows them to study things and learn things and gather new items for their life in terms of education and information and certification. But for people who have way too many degrees, because that's how they spend their time, going to conferences, going to workshops, and trying to keep themselves viable, well, that's fine for your company. But it takes away a lot of your free time for building a family. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And here's the deal, that people are teaching people to hate God. It is a human being's behavior of thinking they have the right to sanction and censor someone else's life that makes an individual hate Christ, hate God, and hate the Holy Ghost that most of you don't know shit about and can barely speak about. Very few people spend their time in the word of their religion. And those of us who'd like to get their books stolen by sheriff in their concept of creating division in the world. You see, because if they can put a blue line across the flag, if they can put a red line across an American flag, if they can now put a green line, whatever the fuck that means, across the flag, or a pink line, or a light blue line across the American flag, then they can signal themselves out as a specialty group instead of bringing themselves around into the community of good 